What is happening guys? Welcome back to Pokemon Sword. Our next objective is to head past Route 5 to Holberry. And uh, before we do that, I actually missed this obvious item here. So we're gonna run over and snag that real quick. Past the old Stuffles. And uh, see if it's something cool. Found ourselves a Shed Shell. Uh, so it is an item to be held by a Pokemon. This discarded Carapace enables the holder to switch out of battle without fail. Uh, interesting. I also don't know if I pronounced that right. No, God, they're ganging up on me. These Stuffles are not going to let me through, so I guess we'll battle them. Stuffle is uh, definitely an interesting Pokemon. Not my favorite little teddy bear. It's level 19, which is pretty damn high, so if you would like to use a Stuffle on your team, you can get yourself pretty much a, a battle-ready guy right there. Also, am I going to have to run into this one? Please move. Okay, we avoided it. We're good. <laughs> anyway... Back to business, so we have the daycare here. We're gonna have to check that out some point soon. Uh, we know that there's the Team Yelp people going on over here. Let's see what the old fanboys are up to today. Oi, just hand over the bike already. We needed to cross this long bridge. We're gonna use that bike to chase around gym challengers. It'll be a scream. How barbaric. It wouldn't work anyway. You don't even have a Rotom with you. And this guy, what, what, why you a, are you a doctor? Hey, young gym challenger, they're trying to steal my bike. They're, I don't even see a bike, hello? If you could give them a good thrashing, I would be in your debt. So I'll, I'll, I'll give them a good thrashing, don't you worry about that. Um, we're not trying to steal the, the bike, only borrow it. I'm gonna use it to chase after gym challengers and make them all tired. But I'm thinking you deserve a special shout out, I'm gonna crush you in a battle. Alright, so we've only had one encounter with the Team Yell people. Uh, essentially, they're basically just fanboys. And uh, I think that's actually kind of funny. So they have a lot of these zigzagoons. This is actually great for Snowball because we can just double kick the living shit out of this thing. And you're not going to enjoy that. Only level 17. Bruh, literally right down the road. You can go get yourself a level 19 Stuffle. So you should, uh, you should check that out. It kind of fits the color scheme of what you're working with. Well, zigzagoon is dead. Double kick is four times effective. So that is fantastic. Also, Swiper grows to level 19 Tootsie 21. Or, wait, no, Swiper didn't grow. Just kidding. False alarm. Next is a Thievil. We're going to stay in here. Thievil is a perfect Pokemon for these guys. Obviously, they're just thieves. Dark types and the whole business. So, I'm going to double kick you as well. As Snarl. So, a Fox going against a Sheep really kind of seems like it would put us at an old disadvantage. <laughs> because we're pretty much the old target prey. But, double kick is almost a 2-hit KO. Not quite. Maybe if we get... A high roll here. We can take another Snarl. We're going for it. Come on, Snowball. I believe in you. Now you're going to beat up, which is not going to do very much because you only have uh, one Pokemon alive, so it only hits us once. Come on, Double Kick. Give me a high roll here on the second kick. It's not going to do it, but one can hope. <laughs> Hopefully this thing uses it. Actually, we can take any attack again, so we should be good. Now he's going to Tail Whip. Great strategy, bruh. Fantastic strategy. This guy's just back there rocking out, too. Love to see it. All right. One double kick is going to do it, and I'm going to assume we have to battle the other guy too. Also, why are we battling next to a pond now? We're definitely nowhere near that, but it, that's that's fine. Dexter goes to level 21, Swiper to level 20. EXP share doing its thing. We're Team Yell. We get up in the faces of trainers. Well, you really got up in my face. This might be the ugliest guy of all time. You crushed my attempt to crush you. Why you? I want that bike. Don't get in my way. So we're going to have to battle this guy too. Uh, it's actually pretty nice that they allow you... I'm, gonna assu I'm assuming this guy's going to give us a bike uh, after we beat these guys. He's got a Sableye. Interesting. We're going to need to get the hell out of here. Uh, but it's perfect that they give you a bike right by where the daycare is. So you can do some fast hatching, which is sweet. All right. Let's go into... Um, we haven't really used Tootsie too much in battle. Let's go into this thing hoping that it's going to go for a ghost move. Hit me with a Shadow Ball or something. Tootsie's under... Oh, no, just kidding. We're actually... Forget I even said anything. Alright, this is actually going to scratch us. That is fine. Pluck should do some decent damage here. Interesting that this guy's got a Sableye, though. I really like when they give uh, the evil team people some actual cool Pokemon. But why is it using Scratch? Like, out of all things, your Sableye could do. Just going to scratch me, huh? No Dark Pulse? Alright. That's going to do it. Down goes the old Sableye. Snowball at level 20, we're getting up to the rest of the team, which is great. We should be evolving relatively soon with Snowball, and I'm super excited to see what Wooloo turns into. Hopefully it's something cool because the thing has a lot of potential. You haven't seen it, The Last of Us. We're going to make sure you stay out of our lady's way. Oh, don't worry. 
All right, so this guy, this doctor guy looks sick as hell. I see you have a Pokedex too. That means you have a Rotom with you. Fantastic, I'll give this bike to you then. Better you have it than Team Yell. Now you know that Rotom love motors very, very much, right? Enough to jump right into machines that have motors. So that got me thinking, if I attached a motor to a bicycle, then maybe I could get a Rotom to pop into that as well. Oh yeah. Why do they give you the option to say right or IC? What, what would be, hello? <laughs> Enjoy cycling together, so cool. We got ourselves a bicycle. He, he physically hands us a bicycle. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Rotom bike can be combined with the Pokemon Rotom to use a turbo boost. I'll read the manual. Press the plus button or the minus button to ride your bike with Rotom. Let's get cycling. So it's automatically like registered. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and press plus and we got ourselves our helmet on because safety first and whoa, if you press B, you're going fast as hell. Seems like you have like a recharge on that, but that was... That was interesting. I think Rinrota makes the sound again. Yeah, so he made that sound, and now we can go fast again. Straight zooming. All right, so we have this bridge here. And uh, what's going on over here? What is the problem with those Team Yell goons? Can't understand wanting to cheer someone on, because they make cause so much trouble in the process. Hardly a decent way for fans to behave. Indeed. All right, so oh, there's a hidden item right here. We can actually hop off this, because it's a little easier to maneuver without it. Get ourselves a resist feather. Item for use on a Pokemon slightly increases the defense base points of a single Pokemon. So that's actually interesting. There's definitely a new item there. That should be fun. All right, before we continue on to the bridge, uh, there is some stuff going on down here. We have a trainer. We should probably heal Snowball up. We'll give you just a couple regular potions. We did have access to super potions now, so our regular ones are just going to get nice and tossed off to the wayside, although they're actually still useful. So, All right, what's up, guy? My partner Pokemon's been growing in a really unique way. Check it out. Growing in a unique way, huh? Well, I'll take a look at it. Breeder Adrian. So these guys are breeders. Nice that you're right next to um, the daycare. Makes sense. So we can double kick Snowball. I don't remember if Stuffle even gets fighting. It's fighting normal. I know at least Beware is. Stuffle, I, I assume, is as well. So if it has a fighting move, well, that's going to hurt a little bit. Get some decent damage there. It's just going to leer us. All right, so not the best that this thing's going to leer me because it's definitely going to have... It's going to hit me with something. Please do not, like, brick break me and we will be okay. We're going to go into... Let's go into Nugget for this thing. Actually, it's kind of a poor idea. I was going to go into... God damn it, I was going to go into Tootsie. Young Tootsie, but it's fine. Uh, another leer? Okay. Thing really wants to stare me down. That's right. Nuggets. Nugget can do it here. We're just gonna flame charge you. So it is fighting type, seeing as rock is not very effective. It's been a while since I've battled against a stuffle, okay? More leers? Really? Okay, this guy. Maybe what he meant by his Pokemon growing in a weird way, he just only knows how to use leer. <laughs> Interesting. One more flame charge. He's gonna take care of your stuffle. Sorry to do that to you, you adorable little bear. All right, what do you have next? Next is a Ralts. Hey, we haven't seen a Ralts yet, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we can just go into, Ralts is also part fairy, so keeping that in mind, let's actually go, let's go into Tootsie. We're probably gonna need to heal up anyway. But we're gonna hit you hard with a pluck. It's just a Ralts, so we don't really have to be too afraid. Also, can I just say how I had no idea that Rookadee evolves into Corviknight eventually. That shit. That threw me off. I had no idea. I mean, I guess it kind of made sense. Because Corviknight is the only thing we've seen so far. And it's just a... It's all dark. I had no, I had no idea. Well, Ralts is going to die to a Pluck. Nugget grows to level 22. Lily to 20. Next is a Cutie Fly. Uh, so we'll just stay in here. So seeing a couple new things that we haven't seen. We have not seen a Cutie Fly yet. And Pluck is hopefully going to do the trick to you as well. Not the most defense there, so you get plucked straight to death. Just pluck your heart right out of your chest, little cutie fly. Pokemon are living creatures, after all. You can't always raise them how you want. Get $1,800, love to see it. And hey, we're getting another evolution. So many evolutions lately. This is awesome. So Lily, I'm assuming, just evolves into uh, what the gym leader had. Yes, it does. So this thing be looking evil as hell. <laughs> Reminds me of just like a main evil character in a movie. All right, Eldegoss. 
So it is pure grass. The seeds attached to its cotton fluff are full of nutrients. It spreads them on the wind so that plants and other Pokemon can benefit from them. Very cool. It's also going to learn a move. Let's learn Cotton Spore, uh, which I believe just lowers the speed of the opponent. So we're probably not going to mess with that. Harshly lowers their speed stats. Yeah, we're, we're going to give up on that. Uh, Eldegoss, Eldegoss, I'm assuming, is more of a support Pokemon. Uh, kind of defensive, so that it's got a lot of access to moves like that. I'm going to gonna probably expect. Anyway, we are going to continue down where there is just another... Are you another breeder? I'd like to show you my Pokemon that have grown so well. Now let's see him, lady. So, Pokemon breeder Debra here. Okay, Minichino. Very nice. Snowball can double kick the hell out of that, although... Yeah, it's level 17. We'll be alright. I mean, Gino doesn't have really much for us. Pound. I really wish Snowball would learn some damn moves eventually. This thing's really, really blowing it. Double Kick is almost a one-hit KO. Seems like I haven't gotten a critical hit in a long-ass time. What is up with that? Where have all the crits been? Oh, gonna use a potion. What? These breeders have got the money. Okay, regular potion is fine, though, because obviously Double Kick is still now gonna kill it. And that's what you get for being too broke to afford a super potion. Can't relate. <laughs> so down goes the Mancino. Tootsie is gonna grow to level 22. I'm trying to learn Taunt. We're gonna f we're gonna keep old moves. I'm not really gonna need Taunt. Next is a Steeny. No idea what a Steeny is. That means we can keep current Pokemon and see what the hell is going on with this. It. Oh wait, no, just kidding. Wait, false alarm. I thought that was something new. <laughs> I forgot that Steeny even existed. Since when does this thing, that thing have a pre-evolution? I totally, totally only ever see Serena. I never really used one of these things when I played through Gen 7, so I thought that Steeny was something entirely new. But it does get access to Rapid Spin, which is something cool about it. It's going to make it much more competitively viable. I don't know if this thing was used that much as a Rapid Spinner uh, in competitive. I know that I, act I did have a couple that I think had Rapid Spin, more support ones, but... Now you get that speed boost. Looking pretty nice. Gonna drop my attack, which is unfortunate, because now this tackle is not gonna freaking kill you, of course. Now it's gonna play nice. I like how <laughs> there's play nice and there's play rough. And this thing eventually gets access to both. Gonna lower my attack again. But, too late, Steeny. Even though you be thick as hell, you are now dead. All right, so many battles. Snowball wants to learn Headbutt. Yes. The day has finally come. Now we get base power 70 instead of freaking 40. So thank God we can get rid of Tackle. And now with that Silk Scarf plus Stab, we're going to be able to do quite a bit with Headbutts. you love to see it. He wasn't sure which moves to use and got lost in thought. How are you not sure which moves to use? You're weird. All right. So it looks like we've got ourselves into a wild area, um, kind of. There's a camper dude over here. Hello? What's good? Found Harrison's Pokemon camp. Would you like to pay them a visit? Sure. Can you, like, can you heal me? So I guess we can kind of mix our Pokemon with theirs. What, uh, hey, Wooloo, get over here. Or somebody. Oh my god, there's a Pichu, there's a Budu, a Why Not, and a Togepi. So good to see old Togepi made it back into the game. And a Cleffa. Lots of lots of babies. Hold up. We gotta why is only my Wooloo out? Is because he's cute. Let's go ahead and change toys. We're hucking we're hu <laughs> hucking that. Get the ball. Oh, there's a Munchlax out of nowhere. The Munchlax was the first one to get to it. <laughs> Honestly, we haven't messed around too much with this, but I actually like it a lot. Good boy. I'm gonna go ahead and press A to receive the ball. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and uh, leave Harrison's camp, but we paid him a nice little visit. Thanks for letting me stop by, sir. There is a hidden item right here. It is two big mushrooms, nice. I believe we can just sell those for a decent amount of money. Uh, also, let's go ahead and check out our own camp. And it is time to see what the cooking's all about. I love a little woo. <laughs> also, we get to see this thing crawling around. Nice. Oh, Willy wants to start. He's the star of the show. <laughs> Alright, um, so let's hit the menu. We can go over to cooking. We're gonna start cooking. I have no idea how this works. We read it. We read something before, but let's do a Pecha Berry. Why not? And we'll do four Pecha Berries. And then also 
a person berry. I don't know. Why not? So, is there? Do I hit B now? Like, what do I? No, we're not gonna put those back. So we can sort our items, or hit Y for favorite. Oh, we gotta hit plus for ready. Oh, obviously, there is a plus button at the bottom right. Would you like to start cooking with your current berry selection? I don't know what this is gonna do. I kinda just wanted to select random berries. And would you look at that? If it's anything like, oh, start? Oh god, there's something we gotta do. Fan the flames. I do not have the Joy-Con, so I guess we just mash A. So we're trying to start the flames up down there. So we got our fire going, kind of. Is this good? I'm just out here mashing. Looks like a good enough flame to do some cooking. I don't know. Well, I guess not. All right. Give it a good stirring. So now we just rotate. And uh, that looks like looks like some nice stew. Well, it's actually curry, but I don't know how fast I'm supposed to be doing this. I'm just basically mashing it as fast as I can. So this is how you stir, right? All right, nice. Put your heart into it. <laughs> oh my god. We literally physically put our heart into it. Is it done? Tis done. Oh yeah. We eating now, boys. We eating good sweet curry. So we got some sweet curry. I assume different Pokemon like different flavors or something. Which we can have eaten some of it ourselves. Just to test it out. Oh, and it's good. It's good, boys. Taste rating. Wobbuffet class. Is, is this good? Your Pokemon's HP was restored by half. Gained a few EXP points. Snowball and the rest of your party got friendly toward you. Very interesting. Uh, we're going to quit camping. So that was kind of cool to, to check out. Enjoyed some camping. Gets a little bit of experience, which is fun. Alright, so that's pretty cool, I guess. And the team is looking nice and healthy now. So, not bad. Let's go ahead and try to fish in this pond. And hopefully we can get something different. Every time we've tried to fish... We literally only get carps, and what do you know, another carp. I feel like I should at least try this a couple times, because, like, what the hell? Why is it always magic carps? Do I need to get a different fishing rod at some point? I'm just... You would think there would be some new Pokemon or, or, or something. Like, what the hell? No, oh, my fishing spot is now gone. Nope, there it is. Just kidding. Bet you there's a carp over there. That guy back there has got a sweet camping spot, by the way. In real life, I would definitely see myself camping there. Alright, and just another carp, so. It looks like we're giving up on fishing for a while. <laughs> we ain't got time for pulling out freaking magic carps. Who are level 18? Which is worth a mention, because you just gotta grind that thing up two levels. And then you got yourself a Gyarados. One of my favorite water types of all time. Anyway, what is this thing? Oh my god, it's surfetched! Yes! Well, it's a far fetched. How do I make it surfetched? He has a big ass leak. Hold on. I'm confused. Oh my sweet Jesus. This is just a regular far fetched? He's just got his massive leak? I have never seen one of these things before. Well, we're gonna give it a headbutt. You already know we're obviously gonna catch this thing. So it's gonna hit us with a brutal swing. Ouch! Jesus. Gets a critical hit. That is not very nice. I have been waiting for the moment we could get far-fetched. The time is finally here. Oh, we get a critical hit and I'll get right down to red. The game knows we want to catch it. Okay, that actually knocks out Snowball, which is a bummer, but now we've got this thing in prime catching range. Gonna use next Pokemon. Let's go into Tootsie and uh, let's try to catch this thing. Why is it not Galarian? Very confusing. I, I am confusion. All right, let's just give you. Let's give you a heal ball, because if we do end up catching you, I would like you to be fully, fully healed, because I do want to use this thing. Oh, all right. Surprisingly, it's gonna break through. Maybe I should have left Swing or Sing. On Elvigas, this thing always gets crits with brutal swing. Uh, I think that's what that, that the point of that move is. All right. Or maybe not. No, the last one didn't crit. Will it? So. Come on, heal ball. You got this. Damn it. Ooh. It comes with Rock Smash, and that's actually a pretty cool animation. It actually uses its leak to use Rock Smash. So there's something that's unique to unique to this thing, which is sweet. Now we're just going to go for Great Balls. We're out of heal balls, which is unfortunate. 
but let's see if we can get you in a damn great ball. Why, why is this thing so difficult to catch? I think all my luck is catching back up to me. Earlier on, we caught everything like first try. That's going to give us a defense drop. I'm going to kill like half my team trying to catch this freaking Farfetch'd. But I need it. This ain't no ordinary Farfetch'd. His leak is huge. At what point does this lad turn Galarian? All right, well, no, we didn't catch it still. It was close too. Damn it, bruh. Now he's staring me down. Dropping my defenses even further. Uh, we're going to have ourselves a bad time if this thing gets to attack me again. What does it take to catch you? Please, be nice. Wow. It literally has like one HP. It's going to leer me one more time. Okay. That is fine. I like how you... So you can see the bridge in the background. The environment of this battle is actually perfect to where we're kind of located like in the world right now, which is cool. Come on, you got this. Fuck. Seriously cannot catch this thing at like 1 HP. Now it's gonna rock smash. We live with 2 actually, surprisingly. Gets another defense drop. Alright, we're trying it. We're trying a Premier Ball. Sometimes, some, I guess we gotta switch it up. Please. Help me out here, Premier Ball. Oh my god. Well. Premier Balls do have just about the same... Catch right, it's Pokeballs, I'm pretty sure, right? We're trying again. Great balls are our best bet here, but I would love to catch you in a Premier Ball. I don't have many, I only had two of them, right? Damn it! Farfetched. Rock smashes the hell out of me. Now we ought to dead. So, okay. Freaking ouch. Gonna use next Pokemon. I wonder if this is like a rare encounter. Like, if this thing is all over the place or what this catch rate is damn ridiculous though all right i'm feeling it now come on great ball watch us just end up catching it in a friend ball yes we got it heckin finally we got ourselves a far-fetched nice so this is a pokemon that is uh, native to sword version. If you're playing shield, I don't think you get access to Farfetch'd. But check it out. Got ourselves a Fetched. Farfetch'd of the Galar region are brave warriors. They wield thick, tough leaks in battle. So it is pure fighting type. Uh, so it is a Galarian form. But why is it... It's Oh, it's just the regular Far... It's, Sir Fetched is the evolution. Obviously. Damn. Alright, I thought Sir Fetched was just the Galarian Farfetch'd, but then I realized it's the evolution, so alright, we're gonna obviously have to name this after the OG, which is Chiding, if you guys are familiar with Chiding, you get veteran points, that is, if you're not familiar with the nickname, it's basically just what, um, it was nicknamed as when you got it from a trade in Fire Red version, the only way to get Farfetch'd, I think, was through that trade. So it comes named as Chiding, and this is now our Chiding. So, to switch it up, I'm kind of thinking that we're going to get rid of Lily. Um, Eligas, I'm not really too fond of this thing's whole deal. We're going to get rid of you for now, Lily. Maybe we'll bring you back later, but we had to get the Farfetch. So, we got ourselves a fighting type now, which is super cool. And let's take a look at our new Farfetch. This thing was a pain in the ass to catch. Look at how smug he looks. All right. So it already comes with a leak. I didn't be held by Farfetch'd. Very long and stiff stock of leak boosts the critical hit ratio. That's why I get so many crits. Uh, it also has Steadfast, so deter uh, Determination boosts the speed stat each time the Pokemon flinches, which is pretty much never. Comes with Leer, Fury Cutter, Rock Smash, and Brutal Swing. And we are Bashful Nature, so it's strong-willed. Interesting. Well, I'm happy about <laughs> adding a Galarian Farfetch'd to the team. And we got ourselves another Berry Tree here. We're going to shake it a couple times. Should try to stock up on as many berries as possible. Maybe we find some rare ones. We're going to shake it some more. Alright, four berries on the ground. Let's do it like one more time. Something's going to attack us. We're going to quit now. So we'll grab all them, all them berries. Yeah, mine. Alright. Before we go any further, our team took a beating from that damn far-fetched. So, it is time to use these revives we've been stockpiling. Give one to Snowball. And uh, give one to Tootsie. And then also, we will use some regular potions. Might as well get rid of these. Also, I guess I could heal up Chiding as well. We might as well. 
I get Tootsie up to full. Chiding will give you some love as well. Just give you some regular potions. All right. Very nice. So, we have some Chinchinos in the wild. There is a bundle of heal balls right here. Let's run into this wild Pokemon, see what it's going to be. And it's a Swirlix. For a second, I thought that was going to be something crazy, but it is just... It's just some damn cotton candy. So we're gonna run away from you. And I have not seen any signs of any other Farfetch'd yet, so... Maybe we got the rare boy. Alright. What are you? Are you a chef? Hello. Maybe you heal me up. A trainer whilst... I found a trainer while whilst gathering berries. This man said whilst. Alright. Cooker Stewart. Got some crazy looking facial hair. Nice. A, an applin, which is something new. That is literally an apple. And, uh, well, that's pretty cool. <laughs> the chef guy has an apple Pokemon. He's like, yeah, if this thing faints, I'll just toss it in some stew. We'll be good to go. That's going to withdraw. So, I guess... Well, how do you use withdraw when you're an apple? Yeah, I'm just not going to ask questions. Hey, and we get a critical hit, because I was uh, I was just mentioning how it seems like I don't get any crits. Very nice, very nice. So that thing goes down. Cooks, do it. That's all you got, buddy. Should have given my Pokemon a berry when its HP got low. Well, you didn't have a chance, did you, sir? All right. I want to catch one of those Applin things, man. So I guess we'll just check out. It doesn't seem like, yeah, there's not really much for us to do in this route here. We'll see what we can run into in the wild. There's got to be some exclusive stuff. We have an Esper, which is actually pretty sweet cool to see that they brought the Esper back. Um, we might as well might as well attack this thing. Get a little bit little bit more experience. Wooloo does need some love. Uh, this is going to be an hour long episode. You've already, I assume, noticed that by now. But since we're just kind of exploring a whole lot um, I figure here and there we'll sprinkle in some, some hour long episodes. But One more headbutt. I'm gonna take out the Esper. Let me know if you guys do enjoy the longer episodes. If you prefer uh, 30 minutes, it's kind of more bite-sized pieces, or if you'd rather just binge for longer, because I am interested. Alright. That's really all there is, unless we could find something different in the wild. Let's run into one more wild Pokemon here that we're... Yeah, it's just going to be another Swirlix, so... I think getting the Glaring Farfetch'd here was definitely the highlight of this area. That fires me out. I, can't believe, I completely forgot, because they really only showed us Surfetch'd, and I forgot that it was an evolution, so... Regular Farfetch looks different in this game as well, so that's pretty sweet. They never showed us that. The heck. All right, we're going to hop on the bicycle since we're getting on the old bridge. Let's get it. Look at that wild area over there. So I assume that's where we're going to be going. Who knows, though? That big building you see in the distance is Hammerlock Stadium. You're going to battle there, too. So that is ultimately kind of our goal, where we're headed. I'm also going to assume that there's probably some hidden items on this bridge, but we got hop here. There you are, Hayden. I'm warning you, though. Any closer than that, and we're going to have a battle. You and me. Ooh, okay. Any closer than that. So he does give us a little bit of time to prepare, it seems. So we should definitely give Snowball another reggae potion here. And let's do it. So Snowball at 21. Actually, is he going to lead off with his... If he's, is he going to lead off with his... Wooloo? I don't remember if he leads off with it or not. But we're going to swap. Let's put Galarian Farfetch'd. In front, and let's see if we can get this thing to do some cool stuff. I'm excited to see when it evolves. It's probably not going to be for a while, but let's get it. <clears throat> so he's stretching out the old arm. He's ready to go. All right, Hop, how many Pokemon you got for me now? Just three. He does lead off with his Wooloo, which is perfect for us, because now we can just swing our leak right in your face. You about to get chidinged. Let's have a taste of what, the gym, what a gym badge holder's team can do. <clears throat> Let's do it. All right, so we have Rock Smash or Brutal Swing. We are just going to Rock Smash and see if <clears throat> we can get some crits. If we don't, we also have a high chance to get some defense drops. And that just straight up knocks that thing out. Should have known you'd mastered tight matchups. You know it, buddy. Yeah, we do get the crit there. Knocks it out in one hit. Landing a critical hit like that, you're pretty tough when you get serious. Yep, that was totally on purpose. No RNG or anything. Also, look at the battle. I always try to admire the environments of the battle backgrounds. Pretty sweet. I did not see what this man was about to send in because I was talking. Oh, it's the Corvus Squire. We should have definitely switched out. Oops. Left in Farfetch'd, and you're about to get destroyed, buddy. We're going to go ahead and switch you on out of here. Uh, we're probably going to go into Young Nugget. 
just to show him that we've really got our type matchups down. I love how when Galarian Farfetch'd evolves, he like shaves his leak into a sword. What an idea. All right, just gonna pluck us. Oh, that is fine. Now you're gonna pay the price for that, young squire. He's not a knight yet, he's just a squire. Also, we get the, uh, the flame body, which is great. Another good thing about flame body, uh, I'm sure a lot of you do know this, but if you don't, if you have a Pokemon with flame body in your party as you're carrying around an egg, uh, it actually increases or decreases the amount of time it takes to hatch an egg, just because it just kind of warms them up there in the party. So I think that's really cool. Since we're at the daycare area, I was just thinking if we got some eggs, we would be able to hatch them relatively quickly. I might do some some shiny searching in terms of egg hatching for like some starters or something at some point over on Twitch, and. Uh, we will definitely bring our flame body boy with us. That one more rock blast is going to take care of the squire. So long, squire. Next is... What do you got for me, buddy? Nugget grew to 23. And last but not least, he has the Raboot. It has evolved. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, just out of pure novelty, we've got to bring in Dexter against the Raboot. Just because it's cool seeing both of our starters have evolved at this point. I've never seen the evolution of Score Bunny, so I'm excited to see what old Raboot's about. I'm sure he's going to be stoked to see my evolved Sobble. One of my, every one of my Pokemon is an ace. This is no problem at all. So here is the Raboot. And A. Looks pretty much like what you would expect that thing to evolve into. Pretty cool. His Band-Aid thingy is now all big on his forehead. Water Pulse is just going to one-hit KO you, though. Sorry about that, Hoppy. Had to do it to him. All right, Jijing, 21. Swiper and Dexter. Ooh, nasty plot. Not too bad. Um, my special attack on this thing is actually higher than its physical. It seems like it'd be more of a physical attacker. Interesting, we have Hone Claws. I might just get rid of Hone Claws for nasty plot. But I mean, we only have physical moves at the moment. This is interesting. Let's get rid of beat up for nasty plot. I mean, we're probably gonna get access to stuff like dark pulse, I would assume. So we got nasty plot, nice. We both got ourselves the same grass badge. So how come you're so much stronger? Because I have more than three Pokemon, sir. You gotten strong, Hayden. Seems I got to train even harder from now on. You sure do, buddy. You sure do. Got ourselves a revive. Next up is Nessa, the leader of the Water Gym. Uh, so yeah, with the Water Gym upcoming, it probably wasn't a good idea that I got rid of my Grass type, but you know, we'll find a way around it. Ooh, got ourselves a pretty feather, which uh, in other Pokemon games on the bridges, you always find feathers as well. So that's kind of a little nod to, I think it was like the Gen 5 bridge. Very cool. Back to the bicycle. Got ourselves the longest bridge of all time. Also, did I just see a sparkle? Or that was just my wheels. Yo. This Eldegoss is just floating on by. What are you doing, buddy? Interesting. So these things, just like little cotton boys, just literally float on by. Level 22, we are going to run from you. We could not get away because Farfetch'd is a pussy. Come on, Farfetch'd. We're going to try one more time. Yep, we get away that time. Heckin' Farfetch'd. Oh, that was definitely a sparkle. Health Feather. Item to be used on a Pokemon slightly increases the HP base points of a single Pokemon. Nice. Interesting feather we got there. Oops. Meant to press to get off my bicycle. Got ourselves a new route here. We see Drifloons, so that's kind of cool. Also, just some more freaking Swirlixes. They really want us to use Swirlix, apparently. Uh, anyway. Farfetch took a little bit of damage there, but we'll probably be okay. We're level 21. You know what? Let's just go ahead and use up this here potion why not we have two we have one regular potion left what's up breeder lady work to raise good points of a Pokemon good raise the good points of a Pokemon don't don't worry about its bad points what do you mean by points hello I like your flannel shirt though all right Denise you got yourself a cherubi so far-fetched is about to absolutely smash the shit out of your cherries hate to do it to him brutal swing Super cool animation. I like that a lot. We get a critical hit. That stick is coming in clutch. I'm assuming the stick item still works. 
when it's a sir fetched. Wait, what just happened? You just use a potion? Why do all these breeders have freaking potions? We just need another crit here, please. Yes. It was a crit. Nice. So, most of the time, we'll be out here critting. Next is a Woobat. So, we're going to switch out on a Woobat. We have no business staying in on that. Uh, let's go into Swiper. We could just go right in Nugget. But we're we're going to let the boy Swiper know swiping. Go ahead and swipe the shit out of this thing. So, just two Pokemon we've seen so far. Only level 19. Guess what? We're about to steal your item, if you got any. And you are dead. What an ugly Pokemon Swoobat is. Alright. Tootsie, 23. Snowball, 22. I'll accept that I lost, but I'm not going to let it bother me that much. You know, that's the spirit, lady. That is the spirit. Alright, so we got an item here. 3x special attacks. Why? Why must you do this to me? There's a hidden item over here. Also, Absorb Bulb. An item to be held by a Pokemon boost special attack if the holder is hit with a water type attack. So that is a new item, and that is probably going to be used quite a bit in competitive. That is awesome. Let's run into something here. It's just another Nuzleaf. So many, so many Nuzleafs. Get your weird little spec nipples out of here. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Continuing on this route, how do I get down under the bridge? That is what I'm wondering. Hello there, friend. Keep this to yourself, but I'm having Pokemon help with my work. That is cheating, and I will be contacting your boss immediately. She got a cell phone, too. Gabrielle here is an office worker with a crow gunk. Not ideal for far-fetched here, so we're going to switch the hell out of here, but we do have a birdie that's going to have some fun with you, crow gunk. Only level 19. So not seeing a whole lot of... Uh, Higher levels, which is fine. I'm just wondering what level the second gym's going to be. It seems like by the time we get to the eighth gym, we're going to be like level 60. It's going to be ridiculous. Astonish. Ooh, look at that animation. He turned around real quick and astonished me. Nice. Pluck is going to do it to you. Still waiting for the day I use Pluck on something that's holding a berry. Just because. We can look cool then. All right, down you go. Experience for everybody. Office worker, you have failed. Get back to your smartphone. Okay, so we've got ourselves into a new area. Is this going to allow me to go, like, under the bridge? No, this is just brings us right to Holberry. Well, interesting. Hey, there's the elephant thing we saw right in the beginning. I need it. Please give me your elephant. So we got the gym. We're getting a nice little preview of the city. The place looks pretty cool. Nice little harbor city. So we have the Pokemon Center there. First things first. We're going to get nice and healed up. I really thought we were going to have to go through the wild area, but... Apparently not. Or maybe I just didn't go the right way. I didn't see the entrance to it or something. I have no idea. But... Tis fine. Because we got ourselves a far-fetched anyway. Also, when can we get to another... I am assuming there's going to be another clothing shop here. At least we hope so. What's going on over here? Our sincerest apologies. The chairman is quite busy at the moment. Everyone, please disperse. Please leave now. What? See you later, chairman. I'll even give you my Pokemon League card. Alright, so that that person right there in the pink purple is bedding be bed. I thought it was a girl. Turns out they're definitely... A guy. So I apologize for assuming genders, but you can't tell me that doesn't look like a Karen. It looks like their name would be Karen. I don't know. Chasing them off like that? Why are you being a bit too harsh, Alina? Fans are always important, of course. That's why you need to keep doing your work for their sake. This man's got his casual clothes on, looking cool. I promise to do everything in my power to assist you, Chairman. Oh, and you were? Bade. Bede. So I, d I do not know the name, so I'm just going to say Bede. That's right, Bede. I, d I dare say I'm impressed how far you've come since I gave you that Pokemon all those years ago. I bet they're conspiring, man. These people are both evil. Will you be the one to win the gym challenger? Perhaps it will be one of the trainers endorsed by the champion. Ooh, are they talking about me? We're just straight eavesdropping right now, by the way. I will prove your faith in me was well placed. Chairman, don't lose to anyone. Anyway, I'll be on my way now. They heading out. Alright, we're gonna have to beat that dude's ass. Hi, your name was? 
Hayden, right? We're just talking about you. I admit I'm curious about Leon's reasons for endorsing you. Had a good idea, as I tend to do. You're gonna face the gym leader Nessa soon, yes? If you get a gym badge from her, I'll hold a celebration. I'd like to know how I'd like to know you a little better after all. Chairman, we should really be going. Okay. Please do your best for the sake of Galler's future. Interesting. Alright, so Elena. The chairman will be heading to this town's seafood restaurant. Win the gym badge and join him there at once. Don't do not keep him waiting. Alright, so that is our objective. Pretty much to go straight to the gym, but I assume there's some other stuff we can do here. Uh, so we're not allowed to go in there until we get the gym badge. We're gonna talk. I believe the chairman was quite clear. Get your water badge at once. Damn. They, what are these people doing? Can I have an autograph? <laughs> He's like super famous. Alright, so what happens if we go down here? I bet it's gonna be tough to defeat Nessa. So we got ourselves a little shop area here. Welcome to the herb shop. Let's, let's see what you buy, shall we? Energy powders, energy roots, heal powders, and revival herbs. Uh, we can get ourselves some energy powders. Let's get five of those, why not? Five doses. And energy roots are actually pretty nice. We're only gonna get like two of those though. Them boys is expensive. Doesn't really matter. Cheers, mate. Get a whiff of that fragrance. How, how about some incense for you? Uh, incense are actually kind of interesting. They just increase the power of different types of moves. Other than that, there's also um, the, uh, the aroma may cause attacks to miss its holder. So there's a bunch of whole different bunch of different incenses. We're not really gonna mess with that too much. We got some people just hanging out over here. There is an item. Got ourselves a magnet that increases the power of electric moves, which is cool. I feel like the time you spend trying to make up your mind is the true essence of shopping. Sure is. You got a Mancino, interested in trading it for my cottony. I do not want a Whimsicott, so no way. Anyway, let's head over this way. What's up, buddy? Just keep going, me. Just keep going and going. Just keep swimming. Does seem to love the lighthouse. Hey, there's another lighthouse. Where's the Ampharos at? What's up, guy? I've got high hopes for you. I mean, I say that to every challenger, of course. Why aren't you looking at me when I talk to you, guy? Freaking rude. Those flowers are like glowing. That was weird. Uh, so we've got the station over here. Which is kind of cool. Not a whole lot going on in here. Got some kids. Even if you don't actually battle, simulating different battle strategies in your mind can be fun too. Being on a train can be boring. I'm talking about the Unova region. So we're not going to mess around with the train too much since we are supposed to hang out in Holberry. Can we go into these houses? We sure can. We're going to do some exploring. Just kind of see if there's anything we need. If a gym leader is too weak, the gym will be relegated to the minor division. Ooh, man, you hate to see that. I thought I was going to be able to grab something out of the trash can, because that's the first time in a Pokemon game you can actually see stuff in a trash can. The little details. Thank you, Game Freak. Let's go on here. It's hard to tell if a Wooper is female or male. Can you do it? Um, you want me to check out your Wooper's genitals? Um, I'm going to pass. What the hell? Can't go through that door. That Wooper just said yo to me. Hold up. Okay. Just gonna head back down as there's really not much for us up that way. Other than that, we just have the gym. Nothing's biting. Not doing some fishing, huh? Nessa's really stoic about Pokemon. She's made her gym mission really tough. Remember when I did a gym challenge? Never did get the water badge. That's the second one. You really did not get far, did you? So there's the gym. We're gonna have to check that out after we've kind of... Look at the Wingle flying by. Nice, that's pretty cool. Galar is a huge island. Lighthouses have always been really important in helping ships find their way. So it seems like there's really not a whole lot else for us to do here other than just battle the gym. Uh, which is interesting because we found two secret potions. It took us so long to get to the first gym and now we're like right already at the second. Hey, is this Nessa? Well, I was apparently supposed to go searching for Nessa and we found her. You must be a gym challenger, right? You best believe it. How did you know? One of the ones endorsed by Leon. Yeah, everybody knows about me. No big deal. You've become something of a hot topic among the gym leaders. Here you go, Mr. Famous. I already heard about you, so you should learn about me too. Nice. We get her a league card. Basically like a business card. Let's head to the stadium. I love fishing, but I love Pokemon battles even more, and I'm itching for a battle with you. So, I don't know. I guess we're ready for that. I don't know if the levels are going to be difficult or what. But what kind of statues do we got here? Statue of a Pokemon that's said to have protected the lighthouse. Looks pretty badass, and I want one. So, 
All right, so it looks like uh, Nessa has headed back to the gym. I really don't know if I should bring back my Eldegoss. Not going to be able to use Nugget. Snowball's going to be decent, nice and neutral. Everything we have is pretty much just neutral except for Dexter. Might have to grind up Chiding a little bit. I guess we could head back. we got to do a little bit of grinding and uh, prepare a little bit more. I'd like to be around 25, even though that's a little bit insane. That's asking a little bit much. That's kind of all there is in this city, though. There's not, not anything else for us to do, it doesn't look like. So let's actually, let's head back this way. We're going to hop on the bicycle. And uh, let's go see, before we get too, too ahead of ourselves and going right to the gym, we're going to see, make sure we're good for that. Also, I want to see if there's anything different in this grass. We'll, I'll, we'll encounter something. It's just an esper. All right. Well, not the best. Actually, kind of decent for Chidink because we do have this here Brutal Swing, which is great for a fighting type. Nice and easy one-hit KO, because probably crit. Yep. Crits all day, baby. We don't even need the sniper ability. We already a sniper. I mostly just want to see if there's anything crazy here. Gotta be something different. Just freaking espers everywhere. These things' eyes creep me out too. What is up with your eyes? Well, you about to catch a brutal swing. We're gonna be close to level 22. It's gonna actually confuse me. That that kind of hurts. Doesn't do half though, which is good news. And a brutal swing is gonna do it, cause critical hit. <laughs> yes. This far fetched is a great addition to the team. And I'm stoked about it. It probably is going to be a while until it evolves, though, which is which is the unfortunate news. Let's get ourselves at least one level. Then I guess we might as well just take on the gym. That last one was super easy for us, so we're going to assume that it's probably not going to be anything too crazy. So we'll probably be all right with the levels we, we're at, considering there's really not much between the first gym and the second. They can't expect you to grow that much. Unless I was supposed to go into the damn wild area. Which I guess I should probably actually check out a little bit more. Because I, did, I don't think I did a very good job of exploring that. So you know what? We're hopping back on the bicycle. And, uh, we, we need to get under this damn bridge. Should I just hop off and end it all? I like some dead trees over there. Look like a nice little desert wild area. Maybe... Maybe we're not supposed to do that until after the next gym badge. It seems like, at least. There is a hidden item right here. Swift Feather. Item used on a Pokemon slightly increases the speed based points of a single Pokemon. Very nice. So, yep, yeah, back to the daycare area. And, uh. No, I guess that's really all there is to. Is to do in this area. And also, no more freaking far fetched. Where the hell did they go? Stuffle, you're about to get destroyed by a Rock Smash just because we can. And, uh. I guess we'll head back. Go get a nice little heal. And I guess it is nice to kind of take our time and make sure we're not missing on missing anything, I guess. Strength almost about knocks me out. This Rock Smash is not going to kill you in one hit. Doesn't do nearly enough. Did not get a critical hit, but we do get a defense drop. And we're going to switch the hell out of here. We are going to go into... We're going to go into Tootsie. Give you a nice little pluck for the kill. If I lose to this next gym battle, I guess I can only blame myself, but... I have a feeling we're going to be alright. I'm excited to do some more Dynamaxing, though. Probably going to have to do it a little bit more wisely, though. Depending on how tough them water Pokemon are, I might have to bring back Eldegoss. I don't know. I want to call it Eldegoss every time. I think just be looking weird, though. Alright, Chiding does level up 22. Looking pretty schnazzy, boy. You're about to turn into a knight one of these days. Alright, we're just going to head back up. I guess I could I could breed for some stuff. Hey, what the hell is... There's another Farfetch'd right there. You can encounter Farfetch'd up here as well. I was really just hoping this thing was going to be shiny. We're just going to encounter it anyway, though. <laughs> I'm not leaving myself enough opportunities to find shinies. I've only found one shiny ever when doing a Let's Play. And that was when I was doing Vietnamese Crystal, which was pretty funny. It was a Weedle, so it could have been a little bit better. But still, I'm determined to find a, sh a shiny. By the time we finish this Nuzlocke, or this Nuzlocke, this Let's Play. 
There was another hidden item right here. We're going to snag that health feather. There was another hidden item right here also, I believe. Unless I'm just crazy and seeing things. It's mostly just all feathers, I'm going to assume, on the bridge. So we're going to go ahead and zoom our way <laughs> over this way. I want one of these bicycles in real life, man. Oh, there was definitely one right here. Clever feather. Special defense points. Nice. Got a wobbit fet right there and another far fetched. Be shiny. Damn it. When I first saw this thing, I thought it was shiny because of the different coloration. Then I realized that it's just that's just a Galarian boy. Well, level 20. Couldn't get away. Damn it. I'm two levels higher. I'm literally battling against myself here. Please let me run. Oh my god, it's gonna kill me. Yep, Fury Cutter. That uh he's gonna do it. You bastard. Maybe this one has just better IVs. Heck. We are gonna actually kill you now because you have angered me. And we're gonna not go into Snowball, actually. We're gonna go into Nugget. Nope, you're fighting. Terrible idea. We're just gonna let Dexter's ass do it. We have 69 HP. Nice. Water Pulse. Man, a level, level 20's in the wild. Maybe this next gym might be freaking spooky. Who knows? Dude. Glaring Farfetch is definitely scary with Leer and access to getting crits every damn time. Actually, crits... They, uh... They don't take into account the defense drops, I don't... I don't think. Oh, it's gonna do it. Alright. We're gonna cycle our little legs all the way back. And we're gonna get a nice little heal up. And then next time, we're going to take on the gym. And hopefully get our second gym badge. And uh, our new Farfetch'd should be able to help us out on that. I'm probably going to use him to Dynamax, but you know who knows. Anyway, guys, we're going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. If you stayed the entirety of the f like 52 minutes, I appreciate you. And uh, hopefully, I will see you again next time. Peace out, guys.